here we have a setup for a vertical librette. I think this person has got such lovely lips. Look how lovely and full they are. So they're gonna have you're gonna have a look to see where the water line is when you're marking. So that's sort of up in this area here. Then you put a mark under sort of the curve of the lip and basically you're going to pierce all the way through that. I would use a triangle clamp for this. So I would start by putting it on the bottom and then lining it up onto the top. It's so hard to do because this silicone is really really tough. So I'm actually not going to pierce it with the clamp but this is just to show you how I would sort of line it up. So then we're going to get it nice and straight and just straight up through the lip. Again, if there was a clamp there, that would be so much easier. So we come out just at the top mark here. And there we go. So this would be a curved bar I would put in here. 10 mil usually. This for this um, this woman's lip, I probably would have gone slightly longer actually just to allow for that swelling but I put a 10 in it again it's just an example of how I would pierce this and I wouldn't have gone for this sparkly jewellery either I would have just gone for something quite simple easy to clean, easy to look after so we're putting the ball on That's the annoying thing about these curved barbells, as soon as you move them they look like they're completely squint. But there we have it, so you still got a bit of space on there. I mean I would like a little bit more, lips do tend to swell quite a lot. I think this jewellery is really pretty. And it would have definitely suited this person. Absolutely stunning. So there we have it, one vertical librette.